I want to talk to you for a second about how you do your labs. Labs can be done many different ways. Many times you do a lab to confirm a value, find R, 62.4, liter, tor, per mole, Calvin. But there's ways of doing labs that can be much more engaging for the students, and I call these target labs. And I'm actually going to give an example of two ways of doing the same lab, um, and I'll let you judge which you think would be more exciting. I'm actually going to do one from physics. So imagine this. The lab involves a little car rolling down a ramp, going off the edge of a cliff, and landing on the floor. And the students in this lab would do what? Hmm. They measure the mass of the car, the angle of the ramp, how far it landed from the, from the cliff. That's great. And they could plug all the in the equation and, and, and see if it indeed confirms that uh, Newton's law of gravity works for projectiles. OK? That's nice. That works. Now imagine the lab done this way instead. I'm going to go over to the board here. Same setup. There's our lab bench that surveys our cliff. There's the steep hill. Here's our little car, little Hot Wheels car. How about this? What if the students were to do all the measurements, do all the calculations without actually sending the car down the ramp? Meanwhile, you've built a little box, a little shoebox sized box with compartments. The middle compartment you've labeled A. This is a cross section through that shoebox. On either side of that B, on either side of that C, and on either side of that D. <laughs> and uh, we'll let you figure out where F is, OK? And that shoebox gets placed by the students based on their calculations some distance away from the wall where they predict that car is going to land. So. Now, and this is what I mean by a target lab, when they're ready to go, they think they've done all the calculations correct, they release the, the car, it rolls down, and lands in their grade. Their grade determined by which compartment it lands in. All kinds of nuances of this, but the bottom line is you're not grading them, they're grading them. There's a target they're aiming for. Actually, the target <laughs> would be where the car is actually going to land when it rolls down. And they're aiming at that target is exactly where they position the box. It's the same exact calculations, but approached from a very different point of view. And when it lands in the box, when it lands in that A, you know there are high fives and much more of a kind of a celebration and excitement about it. And there are lots of chemistry labs you can design the same way. Now, in chemistry, we don't deal with measuring distances as much as we do with masses. So there might be one involving uh, measuring an empty test tube, putting some baking soda in there, measuring again the mass of it, and then heating it up to decompose it. And while it's decomposing, doing all the calculations. And this time, the target that they set, the little box that they set, is they're going to predict what the final mass of that test tube and contents is after the reaction's done. And then the final, the final grade is based on putting it on the scale, checking it out. Or maybe doing a lab in which they're determining how much gas will be produced. And they set the target literally, a little scale right there. They think it's going to produce 923 milliliters. Fine, they put it right there. And uh, when the gas gets produced and it's 922, close enough, they get their A. It really engages the students a lot more than just labs that are meant to confirm something that someone else has already found. And it's quite easy to make the outcomes different for each group. Different mass of the car, different angle, uh, different mass of the test tubes, and different uh, amount of zinc used to generate the gas. That's not the difficult thing. The difficult thing, and it's not that difficult, is for the teacher to take the labs they're doing and think, how can I redo this to make it one that the students are more engaged in? And I think target labs are a really good way of doing that. Thank you.